yes c in and c out functions are really slow and you should not use them recently i started doing this project euler problems where i had to deal with large input output and just algorithm part was not enough i had to i had to read millions of lines of input and uh, again print the output as well so i ha i have to pay attention to input output then i did some research and read some blogs then found out that c in and c out are actually really slow function the reason is because c in and c out are from this io stream input output header file and io stream input output function maintains synchronization with uh, the input output function from standard io you, if you started your programming journey from c then you remember this header file so io stream have to synchronize with this header file which makes it slow so so that's how your program gets 5 to 10 percent slow every time you use scene and c out yes if we are using stdio.h file we can just use printf and scanf instead of this i can just uh, use scanf actually scanf is uh, faster than c in so you can use scanf and uh, or printf instead of c out and yes you don't have to worry about your performance anymore but if you are just used to use c and and c out and you don't want to uh, get to all the syntax then you can simply use this syntax you just have to write ios uh, double colon and sync with stand std io so you are just saying that you don't need synchronization with standard input output you are just setting it to false and by just setting this to false now c in and c out will not try to synchronize with standard input output header file and your program will gain uh, good performance so yes but still this method or using scanf and printf is not enough so if you are really dealing with big files you have to read millions of lines this solution will not work in that case I noticed similar type of problem on Codechef as well. There is a problem listed on Codechef in beginner section which also have to deal with input output. So you can check out that problem and in those kind of problem you you cannot just use C and, and C out. You have to find a smarter way to deal with input output. In that case you can use something called get char. I personally don't use any of this solution. There is something called get char unlocked that really gives your program better performance than all of this solution. But you have to understand basics of bit manipulation to use that. To use it with numbers and other type of data types, you must understand basics of bit manipulation. Otherwise, it will be more time consuming than even this solution so instead of talking i should just show you this solution so this read function is i use in every program to read the number so as you know you can use getchar only to read uh, characters but i'm using here getchar to read even to read even digits as well I just use macro here because getchar underscore unlocked is really big name to write and I have to write it multiple times here. So I'm using gc macro for getchar underscore unlocked. So anywhere in the program I have to read input I just use this read function. So you can see I have to read digits here in this for loop. So I just use read function here. So this read function do all the reading. So you can see, you can just simply use scene one line or you can, you have to use this six to eight line of code. But this six to eight lines gives your program really good performance. So I'm just declaring a num. Num will store my numbers, the digits I want to read. And I just read a uh, first character GC. So this is character and uh, 
then I'm running this while loop and checking the character we get from the input is is in range of 0 to 9 so what I'm trying to do here is okay so just assume we have this input we want to read this input from the terminal and we have this character ABC we don't want to read this part we are just interested in 1 2 3 so this while loop the first while loop so this first while loop is just trying to avoid this uh, ABC these digits which are not in the range of 0 to 9 I am reading first character here then I am checking if that character is less than 0 or if it is greater than 9 so if it is less than 0 or it's greater than 9 then it's not a digit so I read the next character I keep on doing that until I find a character which is in range of 0 to 9 so now if now our character is in range of 0 to 9 now we can start reading this so we keep on reading until our character is in range of 0 to 9 this part is bit hard to understand if you are not comfortable with bit manipulation what i'm trying to do here is i'm just a left shifting num by one here and on this part i left shift num by three then i subtract 48 from the character okay so this is not this is easy to understand because like my character is one like my character is one it is a character it's not a digit so in ascii table zero is at index 48 so if i subtract 48 from ascii of one which is actually 49 if i'm not wrong if i subtract 48 from 49 we will get one which is now an integer so we are just converting character to integer so i hope this part is clear so for example i have one and now i try i am trying to read two so two will so i have i want to add two here if this was just a string i can just do one plus two and it will become one two and then i then i do same for three but if i use a string to add these characters then there is no meaning of doing all this and that will all increase the time complexity so that's why i use bit manipulation here and this is just a simple method on bit manipulation if i want to add at rightmost part i just uh, have to left shift the number by one and again left shift the number by three and add all this together we will get the digit so by the end of this we will get one two and three we keep on reading the character until we have read all the character the entire digit so now we have one two three and we just return the number so yes you should use this function to get really fast input output and also never use endl i use endl here never use endl because endl every time use flush flush is used to just clear the buffer just wipe out the buffer and you don't need to do that if you are just printing on the screen so instead of endl use slash n it will also give your program a bit more performance so yeah that is all for this video see you in next one